of Productivity and Business Innovation Management Africa, Remy Dairo. He's also a UK certified productivity coach. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome morning. to TVC Breakfast. Thank you. Uh, talking about uh, changing the narrative, the poverty capital of the world, which Nigeria has come to be associated with, what's your overview now of the situation? I, I think we've stayed on this uh, path for so long. And I think we need to change the narrative. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, over the years, uh, Nigeria, poverty, Africa, poverty. When we change, that means a lot of things are you know, wrong. And we need to do uh, basically like the root of these things. And if we don't change the root, we keep on getting even worse, you know, statistics concerning Nigeria and poverty. And the first thing is our national value. What exactly do we, you know, adhere to? Mm. So I if we don't change the, uh, the narrative from the a soft, you know, uh, angle, the the external, you know, uh, system will be affected. So I, I think uh, we need to change our perspective to what do we really, you know, you know, uh, give a priority or give, a, you know, esteem to. Uh, but then this is also at odds with the government's drive. In in the first term, we saw how uh, you know the government or the administration then was, you know, built on a three-pronged approach, uh, economy was also one of them. How has the government fared in taking the country uh, to prosperity? Y yes, just like I said, th there's a soft part and there's a hard part. So what, what the government focused on is, oh, corruption, we need to get this out of the way, we need to pump money into, into the system. In fact, the vice president was going about in the market, you know, place, market money market scheme, money scheme yeah. and give it. These things will not bring the change we're looking for dramatically what will happen is until nigerians begin to have a new mindset about what money is what wealth is how to increase value and how to attract money and that whatever money you have will disappear now the question is are the government not doing enough they are doing much you can see the activity on, on i mean uh, in, in in the marketplace and the economy and the systems and i mean uh, we they are doing the best they can but you see an average nigerian will think that let me get my part. Let me get my, you know, my share from the national cake. Stomach infrastructure. Stomach infrastructure. I, mean, I mean, so when I see it from that angle, no matter what you give me, if you give me that money, I eat it because it's my, it's my part of the national cake. So poverty remains because I don't understand what the essence of what I need to do with the money. So sometimes they say, okay, let's do youth empowerment. They give youth money. They give them this. And then you go and sell whatever money they give to them. I mean, I've seen youth selling beans. Well, they're supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, planted. And then, you know, go to agriculture and all that. They, they sold it to people who are making a current case with it. And talking about uh, agriculture now, uh, it's also been advocated that the government should also uh, focus more on entrepreneurship because we are seeing many youth now, they're already seeing the handwriting on the wall, so they've already taken a decision on the path they want to uh, take in life. Mm -hmm. it, it so let's look at our education system. Right. Also, uh, the systems need to be revamped. Now, the education system that we still have and the curriculum is still backward because you need to cram and pass and get certificates. Then after that, that's entrepreneurship. Why don't you teach entrepreneurship well from school? So we need to look at the education system to have a kind of a productive and innovative and global mindset right from primary school. Right. Then we are infecting you know, the, the value system right from you know, uh, in a childhood. Then when you grow up into that kind of you know, world, you know that when I'm coming out of school, I'm starting something or I'm going into something and it's entrepreneurial in, in client, not just academic you know, uh, that you have been pushing all, all this while. Rami Dairo, thank you very much. Pleasure. Joining me now is the President, Institute of Productivity and Business Innovation Management Africa, Remy Dairo. Uh, he is a UK certified productivity coach. Remy, it's nice to have you join me in my, the studio. My pleasure. Man. All right. Uh, let, let's, let's take a look. Since, since the inception of democracy in 1999, the, the, the Fourth Republic, as we call it, there has been different programs by the government from uh, Fred, uh, former President Olusogo Basanjo yeah. to Yara Dua to Jonathan. Good Luck Jonathan and then now to Buhari. Yeah. So it's not necessarily about this president or that president, but it is about what the government has been able to do over time. Yeah. We saw the issue of needs and seeds early in, uh, in so the early 2000s. We had Concepts, NAPEP, NAPEP. Policies. Exactly. <laughs> we had NAPEP. We had SHOP. Yeah. Now we have N Power. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and all of these things. There are vocational training uh, uh, programs, there are entrepreneurship and all of that. Yeah. All of this over about 20 years so, so we're we still talking about 
Nigeria being the capital of poverty. What is really wrong with what is in, what's, the, what's missing here? I, I, I think the mindset of Nigerians need to be reshaped. Who has to do that? Starting from the leadership. Hmm. Because you cannot tell me that, the, that I should, you know, uh, go through a particular process when you in government, you are, you are the most corrupt. Or the people in government are not given the right example. So people backward in the home, so okay, how can I get my own share of it? But, so but, corruption but, but is one of the basic should, should needs. This, should this be all about politics and those in leadership? Because the point is, it, it is, it is well-known fact that Nigerians are hard-working mm -hmm. people. Nigerians are resilient people. When they go, in fact, in academics, in everything, when yeah. Nigerians in South Africa, Nigerians mm -hmm. in the United States, Nigerians in Russia, Nigerians are doing so, excellently well everywhere yeah. in the world. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between doing well in those countries and doing well back at home? Because there's a system. In other, in other parts of the country, there are systems that keeps you on track that a system that you know anywhere you stay in I, I don't want to mention in nations now if you stay in the rural area you are productive and then you are, your prosperity can you know be assured mm -hmm. but here if you stay in the village <laughs> and you are not sure of uh, you know of you know the next meal mm -hmm. you are not sure of how to get you know um, amenities that's uh, you know uh, relevant or you know uh, that will lead you to the next you know thing you need to do mm -hmm. you might need to pack your bag and come to town so there's too much pressure in town, and before you know, the, uh, the amenities are not enough, and then we'll go back to poverty, you know, uh, uh, um, reality. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the government needs to revamp this idea of e economy in a way that it co cut across all. Now, if you are spending so much money on you know, this policy, and you're doing that in town only, you're doing that in only urban area, and the rural area are forgotten, mm -hmm. I tell you, poverty will always, you know. All be right, there, there, was the, there was a program that uh, the vice president was sharing mm -hmm. Uh, 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 monies right. to people to alleviate mm -hmm. uh, poverty. How far can programs like that go? So, so I am one of the people that said, no, you cannot just give people money without training their mind. If you give them physical cash and their mind is not reformed, they will spend the money on something else. And then you, you, how, how can we track? How can we track that? How can we measure it? Now it's because you just threw money uh, around in, in, in the marketplace. So I, I, I say that before you give them money, train their mind. Let them know what to do with the money. Mm -hmm. Now, if they are trained on you know business ethics, they are trained on how to manage their business, how to manage their fund, how to manage people, how to I mean the, the right culture mm -hmm. that that brings about you know prosperity in the nation will always bring you know the country out. Of you know of the trap of poverty. All right. Now the, the uh, Nigeria population has been rising uh, 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 about three percent by yeah. about three percent annual uh, mm -hmm. growth rate. Uh, what impact is this having on the poverty mix, as the case may be? Because uh, <laughs> a mm -hmm. lot of Nigerians mm -hmm. are saying we are weighed mm -hmm. down by the burden of the population. But, but I must say you are not the only uh, country in the world that have that number. Mm -hmm. India has the number. Mm -hmm. China, China has no course. number. So United States, United Russia. States, uh, Russia have the number, US have the number. So, so the question is, there's something we are not doing right. And it is we are spending so much money on things that will not bring us out of poverty. Technology is key. We need to put money in there. We need to uh, have an education that you know brings us out as you know uh, a global competitive you know uh, you know uh, uh, nation. Mm -hmm. If not, we will just have the number, and then other nations will be ripping us out of it because they will bring product, we we'll buy all the fake product from the other mm -hmm. part of the country because they know we have the number. Yeah. The question is, does the number have the capacity to 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 gain out of the number? Quote and unquote. So, so the question is, we Nigerians we have the number and we are not making anything out of it, but other part of the other other uh, part of the world come in here and then they take over right. the market. So so the point there is that we have the number. The number is the market. Is the market. And if you have the market, you have the power. Exactly. <laughs> all right. No problem. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Remy Dairo, for uh, your insight into all of My this. My pleasure. Thank you. Joining me now is President Institute of Productivity and Business Innovation Management Africa, Remy Dairo, and he's a UK certified productivity coach. Uh, you're welcome to TVC Breakfast. Thank so we are, we're heading home now, uh, it's uh, near the top of the hour, but uh, then let's look at how Nigeria can rise out of poverty. It's connected to uh, major indices like the, like the economy, like, you know, uh, infrastructure, for example, many have said uh, there's also an issue that needs to be controlled. This uh, our lack of maintenance now of critical infrastructure in the country. So, how do you suggest we can uh, attack this? So, so I, I think the government needs to uh, put more emphasis 
or more, you know, um, you know, more money in building a, a system, infrastructure that will help the economy to grow. Now, I know they are doing something, but the question is, what type of economic structure should we put on ground? Now, in our own generation, in this century, data is key. Now, with your data, on, on, uh, if data is available for all, then you can do business in your home, and then you can, you know, make whatever thing you're doing, it can, it can be global. Why? Because you have access to data. So, in developed world, uh, you know, having access to Wi-Fi, uh, data, is at a point where almost everybody have that, you know, that capacity to, you know, translate what they have within to the world. So, what they get back is currency from other nations. So, if you are still talking about doing the economy in the Niger Naira, and then still it will still be, you know, uh, you know, moving around the same circle. So, I think uh, there's a need for um, the government to support, you know, the, the citizens really, to be able to do business in the global you know, uh, level. So, so, so cost of doing business, you know, should be easier, easier. Uh, for everyone. Everybody, exactly. And then the health sector, there's mm -hmm. been, you know, a lot of controversies. Mm -hmm. The NHIC scheme there yeah. is, is yet to be fully enshrined, you yeah. know, across the country. Yeah. You've had a taste of, of another world mm -hmm. beyond Nigeria. Mm -hmm. What would you like to see in place in the health sector? Yeah, so I, I think um, uh, health sector is, is a very serious uh, sector we need to look at very well because it's one of the reasons for poverty of, the, of this country. So, um, um, it must be accessible and then available for th both the poor and the rich. But in this in this case, only the only the rich get the best you know health care because they can pay more. And when when they care because they can pay more. And when when they cannot find it around, they get out of the country. So it, it means the poor manage what is available. So in that kind of situation, poverty will always be you know revolving around the community. So what, what, what I think the government should do is to, you know, encourage more of, you know, a local health, health care, well-being of the people, and providing a, an atmosphere where people are living well. The, ro the road system is part of it, uh, the, the, the pollution, you know, the air pollution, uh, I mean, the, the, the kind of drug that comes into the country without being, you know, uh, being um, monitored. I, I mean, a lot of things, you can see people hawking drugs on the road. Talking drugs in, in, in the bus, and, and I mean, all these things, you know, affect our, our, the poverty, you know, level of a country. So we need to go beyond just talking into action. All really. Right, a true call for action mm, there mm. Uh, to to better the system which Nigeria runs mm. on. Uh, thank you very much, Remy Dairo, for your insights it's on Tuesday breakfast this morning.